Migraine ranks number two as a cause of chronic disability. Hi, I'm Dr. Andrea Harriet, a neurologist at Massachusetts General Hospital and instructor of neurology at Harvard Medical School. And these are Mass General Brigham's answers to your most asked questions on migraine. What is the difference between a headache and a migraine? Symptoms of migraine are repeated attacks of throbbing, often one-sided, moderate, or severe intensity head pain lasting for hours with accompanying symptoms including sensitivity to light and sound or stomach upset like nausea or vomiting. For some, migraine can be accompanied by other symptoms like seeing flashing lights or zigzag lines, which we call migraine aura. A regular headache wouldn't have these other severe symptoms. What are the causes of migraine? Migraine is a complex neurological disorder that involves both genetic and environmental factors. Migraine likely involves increases in excitability of the brain, which can cause the visual symptoms of migraine aura or result in other symptoms like increases in sensitivity to sensory stimulation. Another area of the brain called the hypothalamus may also play a role in starting migraine attacks. The hypothalamus is involved in feelings of thirst or hunger, sleep or hormone regulation, all of which are associated with triggering migraine attacks. Ultimately, it's the activation of nerves that transmit pain signals from the tissues that cover the brain surface that leads to the headache phase of migraine. Do some people get migraines more than others? Yes. Migraine is three times more common in females than males. Migraine tends to peak between the ages of 18 and 44, and it actually affects about 12% of the general population. Of all the racial and ethnic groups, American Indians have the highest prevalence of migraine and severe headache, affecting about 19% of that population. What is the best way to treat my migraine? There are two ways to treat migraine. The first is symptomatic treatment, that you can take during your migraine, and the second is preventive treatment to reduce the number of migraine attacks that you have per month. Some of the treatment options include lifestyle modification, there are nutritional supplements, there are over-the-counter medications, prescription drugs, even behavioral therapies like CBT or meditation, and devices. It's important to speak with your doctor to get more information about which options might be the best to combat your migraines and bring relief. What are the things I can do to prevent a migraine? There is no one size fits all prevention for migraine. Some people identify things that trigger their headaches and can naturally avoid them, while others do not have any triggers for their headache. For some people, applying ice packs during a headache can be helpful for pain relief. In general though, I would recommend having a well-balanced, healthy diet, getting adequate sleep and exercise, remaining well hydrated, and recognizing and managing external stressors. All of those things can be very helpful for treating migraine attacks. While migraine affects billions of people worldwide, thankfully, migraine is a treatable condition with a growing number of new medications, including monthly self-injections, that can dramatically improve the quality of life for migraine sufferers and bring symptom relief. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Harriet. For more videos from Mass General Brigham, click here and don't forget to subscribe here.